this lecture, we are going to be looking at magnetic force on current carrying conductor. Solve problem. Let's consider the first example. The example says, a wire carrying a current of 10 ampere and 2 meters in length is placed in a field of flux density 0.15 tesla. What is the force on the wire if it is placed at right angles to the field, at 45 degrees to the field, along the field? Looking at the equation, we are given current 10 ampere. The length of the wire is 2 meter and the flux density is given as 0 0.15 tesla or in a situation whereby you see watts per meter square it still means the same thing and looking at the options as well the question says what is the force on the wire if it is placed at right angle to the field. So when the direction of the wire is at right angle or they may say perpendicular to the field, it means the wire is 90 degree to the direction of the field. They mean the same thing. The wire could be 45 degree to the field and the wire could be along the field or we may say that the wire is parallel to the field okay so let's look at the given options or quantities r equals to 10 ampere l equals to 2 meter b equals to 0 0.15 tesla let's look at this figure as well so this figure will help us to understand beta what I was trying to say let's consider this one first for the first option A at right angle in this case the conductor is at right angle to the field. This is the field. Look at the arrow. Direction of the field is going this way. But the conductor is perpendicular or one could say at right angle. So if the conductor is at right angle to the field, so we will consider theta here to be 90 degrees. They may not tell you theta is 90 degrees, but the statement will let you know that theta is 90 degree. In this case, theta is given. Look at this other figure here. This alpha, this is the angle, could be 45 degrees. Could be 60 degree, depending on the equation. And the third option says along the field, meaning that this angle is not there. Along the field means that the conductor is in the same direction with the field. Is that clear? Okay. So let's move on. At right angle, we are given everything. The next thing to do is to pick an expression. So we pick the expression have equals to B I L sine theta B is given to be 0 0.15 Tesla I is the current 10 ampere L is the length 2 meters and the first option right angle meaning that the our theta is 90 degrees we substitute the following and we get the final answer to be F equals to 3 Newton. The second one says 
we should find the force as 45 degrees angle. So what is the force on the wire if it is placed at 45 degrees to the field? You still use the same expression. But in this case, our theta will be 45 degrees. Every other thing will remain the same. 0 0.15 times 10 times 2 times 45 degree. When we simplify that, we have f equals to 2.12 Newton. So the third one said along the field. Along the field means that our angle is 0, sine theta is 0. And if sine theta is 0, even if we do the Simplification, everything will still be zero. You can try that. Okay, so f equals to zero. How did we get f equals to zero? We still use the same expression. Substitute the value, but since sine theta is zero, f, our final answer will still give us zero. That's what I mean. Let's move to the next question. This one says, a wire carries a current of 22 ampere from west to east. Assume the magnetic field of earth at this location is horizontal and directed from south to north and it has a magnitude of 0 0.5 times 10 to the power minus 4 tesla. A. Find the magnitude and direction of the magnetic force on a 36 meters length of wire. B. Calculate the gravitational force on the same length of wire if it is made of copper and has cross section or and has cross sectional area of 2.5 times 10 to the power minus 6 meters square take the density of the conductor as 8.92 times 10 to the power 3 kilogram per meter square and acceleration due to gravity g as 10 meters per second square. Let's take this gradually. Question says a wire carries current. So current is given to be 22 ampere from west to east. That's the direction of the wire. But the direction of the magnetic field is from south to north. You now see that they are perpendicular to each other as well. From the statement, the direction of the wire is perpendicular to the direction of the field. So the wire is, is uh, positioned from west to east, while the field is south to north. Okay. And it has a magnitude of 0 0.5 times 10 to the power minus 4 tesla. That's B. We are given in the option L to be 36 meters. Okay. Using this expression, L equals to BIL sine theta. We can see that our theta is 90 degrees from the from the equation. We do our substitution accordingly, just as we did the first one. So our field 0 0.5 times 10 to the power minus 4. Our current is 22 ampere. 
then the length is 36 and the angle is sine 90. When we simplify this, we get our final answer f equals to 3.96 times 10 to the power minus 2 newton. That's for option A. Option B says calculate the gravitational force on the same length of wire if it is made of copper and has a cross-sectional area of 2.5 times 10 to the power minus 6 meters. Okay, let's proceed. We have to find the gravitational force when the area is given the length of the wire is given as well and the density is given the formula we are going to use for the gravitational force f equals to mg so in that question if you look critically you see that G was given, but M wasn't given. So it is our place for us to solve for M. Okay. But recall that density equals to mass over volume. It means we are going to make the mass the subject because we have density in the equation. You can see the density is over here is given and the volume is given remember volume is al so here they gave us area and length so this will help us to get the volume this will help us to get the volume so we are going to make that expression for density the subject m equals to rho v make m the subject from that expression so at this point now we are going to put it this way for more understanding m equals to rho al so the al represents v we now substitute the values that will help us to find m. So m equals to the density 8.92 times 10 to the power 3. That one is for the density. And a times 2.5 times 10 to the power minus 6. And then times the value of l. When we simplify across, we get m equals to 0. 0 0.803 kilograms. So now we have gotten our mass to be this value and we have G to be 10. Okay, so we are going to multiply this value by the value of G that was given in the equation. F equals to mg. When we do that, we have F equals to 8.03 Newton. Let's look at the next equation. Let me shift this down. Oh, I think I should take it off. Let me bring it down. Okay, this one says. An electron projected with a velocity of 4 times 10 to the power 7 meters per second entered a magnetic field of flux density 12 tesla at an angle of 60 degrees to the field. Calculate the magnetic force experienced by the electron. Take charge Q to be 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. 
So that's just a direct equation. We are not going to use the same expression as we used before because this one comes with velocity charge and flux density as well. So the first one was about length, but this one has velocity. So we are going to use a different expression. Let's begin to list what was given. V equals to 4 times 10 to the power 7 meters per second. B equals to 12 tesla theta, 60 degrees. Q, 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. So we were asked to find the force, the magnetic force experienced by the electron. So when we use the expression F equals to BQV sine theta, if we apply this expression BQV sine theta to the simplification, and let's see what your, your answer would be using this expression. I would like you to do it by yourself and when you do that drop your answer on the comment section thank you very much please I want to see what your answer is please don't fail to drop it on the comment section thank you okay so you are watching supreme online lectures I want to say thank you to all our subscribers and even those who are still watching us now. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, look at this point and just click on the subscribe button. Look at the arrow. When you do that, it will appear to be subscribed. And I will be so delighted to see that. Thank you so much. I hope to see you in our next class. Have a wonderful day.